Hello everybody, how are you? I hope you're all okay and thank you for joining me. Um, today I'm going to have a go at some one stroke which I've kept watching uh, Dorota Baliska and she's incredible, absolutely incredible uh, with the one stroke and I've been watching her for years. I did get in a Christmas present, oh, not last year, year before, uh, from my daughter, these two brushes. Uh, and I've got the one stroke brush, which is the number one. Um, I think it's the number one anyway. I don't think it's the really, t I think there's one even smaller than that. Um, and also a tiny liner. Absolutely tiny, that is. Um, so I've been practicing and what I've done is I've got these as well, which I bought from Dorota's store. Uh, obviously, I'll put a link to her store down below. Um, and uh, yeah, I've been watching her since she was on about 20,000 subscribers. So I'm really glad she's taken off. Um, but when it comes to the nail art, I mean, oh gosh. So she does one stroke in gel, but also in this acrylic, which I like because you haven't got to wait for curing in between. So uh, I've actually got all of these and all of these. <laughs> the only one I've not got is pink. I can make pink out of the red and white anyway, so that's okay. Um, and these are air dry uh, and I've had them, God, ages. Uh, two years so I'm going to have a go with those I did find a brush out which is from a set from Bone Pretty uh, and it's a little uh, angled brush but you want one that's really flat that way um, so the one from Dorota can you see it's, it goes really flat at the end so I'm going to use that anyway but I've never managed to make them small enough to go on my nails, which is why I think I need the much smaller brush. But I'll show you me practising this on a piece of card. I mean, if you look at that at the side of my thumb, look at the size of that rose. <laughs> but this is where we started. This is where we started. And this is the crappy leaves. Um, trying to do it a centre, which is two strokes, one up and one that way. And then, oh, I abandoned flowers. And then uh, the other night I started again. I watched her, got halfway through the video. I thought, just practice. She says it took her hours and hours and hours and hours of practice. So I thought, we're not going to get any better just looking at your brush. So I come and I started here and worked my way around. Look, and that was my final one, which I think I left a comment in the video. I said, thanks ever so much for that. I've now done one, which I don't think looks as much like a cabbage. Uh, yeah. Thrilled to bits, but that would be absolutely massive on my thumb. So the key is to do it smaller. So what I've done is I want to spend the time on the practice in the one stroke. So I've got these out. Anyway, I liked them, so I've stuck them on. So you'll have seen me with these. These are the BT Art Box nails and um, soft gel. You can soak them off. I always stick mine on with glue. I do sell... Um, some press-ons in my store on Etsy if you want to go and have a look at that and they always come with a kit that includes glue uh, sticky tabs whatever but I don't my nail beds are so small sticky tabs don't work on me so I always glue them on so anyway so I thought so I'll start with these backgrounds because they've got that sort of shimmer um, like a cat eye shimmer to them and then I've painted flowers on so I've done this one hand uh, this is the almond shape and I've got to do this hand now so I'll get them painted and um, then I'll show you sticking process as well. So when you get these from BT Art Box or a lot of nails, <clears throat> a lot of nails you buy are very plain so you can jazz them up yourself can't you? Uh, if you can't do that I've got sets available that you can buy. So. Right, this is the thumb, and I want the flower to go on this side, whereas on that one, it's on that side. So, let's make a start. I've got this, which is a pad with the, uh, like, sticky palettes, like post-it notes, but plasticky. So, I'm going to use that. I'm going to try with this brush. 
need a, a little pot of water. Uh, some kitchen roll or something to keep cleaning the cloth with. And then these paints. So this is the magenta. Do some white. Uh, I'm not going to put the yellow and green out yet. I'll wait while I bring the flowers. So, yeah. So I'm going to get a clean bit of that. Get a baby wipe if you wanted. So I'm just going to wet my brush down because I've not used it for a bit. And make sure it's really flat. And moving. Yeah. So it's just really the end of it that moves. So that's that. So I'm going to go white at the top and red at the bottom. And I'm just going to get my brush working well. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so. I'm just touching the leaves on. Just zoom in a bit. I'm just going to touch instead of kind of sliding it up. I'm just touching it, going a bit higher up to the top. And then instead of coming straight down with my brush like that, it's going to turn a little bit like that. There we go. See, all those three petals look different, but I'll, I'll go over them a second time, see if I can even them up a bit. It's feeling a bit dry, that. After I'd done it, I thought, well, I've already done it on the other hand, so I've got to carry on the same now with this one. But after I looked at it, I thought, oh, I could have done an enchantment lily with um, six petals. And the white down that side. So I'll go back to the beginning because that's dried now already. But I'm just going to clean that off a bit because I tend to end up with too much down here so it's a bit much it's all trial and error one thing I what, what I realized when I was watching it the other day is when I'm blending it on my brush I've got my brush too upright hers is actually flatter and the more you watch, the more you think, oh, that's a breakthrough. I'll try that. So I want to elongate that one a bit. And then make it more rounded. 
this one again. I quite like that one as it is, so I'll stop it there. This one a bit fatter. Yeah. So that's got more white round the edge than that top one. Although, I suppose all petals look different anyway. Not enough pink in the middle of that one. Yeah, like that. Yeah, could have done enchantment with this. And then I'm going to do some uh, buds. So I've got on this one, two at the top, two at the bottom. So I'll go. And I'm going to come down more or less in the same place. And that's that. And then. Turn it over. If you're doing it on your hands, just turn your hand up all the way. it. So that's that one done. I'm going to clean this, make sure it doesn't dry on it. Uh, and then this one needs to be uh, on this side again. Uh, and what's coming down here. So I do love watching people like Dorota who encourage you to practice. I'm well, quite honest with you that they don't wake up one morning being able to do it. I can't hope to be anything like her. But practice makes better, or it should do. Too much white on that. Oh, mix them up now. I knew I'd do that at some point. Must be a bit bigger. Yeah. 
lovely. A bit more pointy on this one, I think. Yeah, I like them buds. That's that. Give this a good clean. So I'm doing exactly the same on those. So I'll get those done and I'll come back and we'll put some uh, more green, more green on these buds. So I'm going to use a tiny bit of green. And uh, an even tinier bit of black. When they've been stood a while, you need to shake them up because the, there's like an oil in. And sometimes when it comes out, it's a bit oily. Now, I'll spread that this is a little bit like uh, you know, when you squeeze in tomato ketchup and it don't come, and then you get a big dollop all at once. Come, thank you. That'll do. Must have been a bit crusty in there. Clean that off better. So, uh, and a bit of white that's coming from up there. So I've got my teeny tiny brush. I'm just going to wet it down. That's it. Uh, I'm going to do the black, mostly green, with a little bit of the black in it. Just to make it uh, quite dark. That's going to go in the very centre. Actually not dark enough. It's a bit jaggedy. So I'm going to use some white with the green and a bit of the black. I'm gonna go I think I said it a bit darker on the other. There we go. What's that? So I want to bring in a bit of yellow. Just a bit of white. 
right, so it shows up some water. There we are. I'm going to dot in there and then tiny ones down there. So, and then I want to put a bit of this green and yellow. On these buds. And it's like closing them with it. finish off doing these and we'll come back and top coat I'm just going to top coat these and while they're in the lamp I'll prepare my nails on this left hand so that's them all painted up and then this cat eye will just come to life debris um, yeah this cat eye just comes to life when you top coat it then Beautiful. You can do this one stroke with the acrylic paints on your own natural nail if you want. But I would top coat and buff or put a matte coat on. And then you can paint on that. That is stunning. Beautiful. Um, so, if you have allergies to nail gels, you could use press-ons if you can wear glue. Uh, which is me. I can use glue on my nails. Uh, I can use acrylic. I can use dip powder. But gels. They don't like me. I know there's hundreds of thousands of you that can. So that's why I still show you the full range of what you can wear. Because it's not up to me what you can and can't wear. Just unlucky. So I can make them like this and then just stick them on and then job done. And that little one is just buds on that one. So yeah, get those cured. So I've already pushed my cuticles back a little bit and um, still got some ink on there. I've pushed my cuticles back because I've already took my other nails off. So I now I just want to go around it. I like a diamond bit. Now, if you're looking at floral nail art, the next video that's coming up is going to be uh, using, doing some flowers, but using uh, acrylic paint marker pens. So I'm going to do it like that next time. Some very simple ones. Can't take much surface off my nails because they are so thin. So, always have been from being a kid. If you want to cut around your proximal fold, that's up to you. But I like the protection that that little strip gives me. Hard skin. I don't 
I want to over farm my nails, so I'm just going along the cuticle. Or oh, proximal fold, should I say. That's that. I'm going to use a bit of alcohol. That's that. And I can use a primer, so I'm going to use a... Um, when I get that bottle out, hang on. Uh, Dehydrator first. Primer, tiny, tiny little bit of primer. You already have a buff surface, but I'm going to use some primer on the inside of them. So wipe them out with alcohol to get rid of any residue from your uh, sticky white tabs or anything. I'm going to kind of etch the inside slightly with a little bit of primer. Let them dry and I'm ready to go. So I use McCart um, nail glue. This is the glue that you get in any of my press-ons. And I'm going to put a little blob on my nail because I've I've got hollows in the middle of my both my thumbnails. I don't know why. Uh, and then this one little drop. Let's spread it like that. And I'm going to make sure I'm straight. My um, cuticles aren't straight, so it takes a bit of doing, but. Once you commit, fully commit, and then that's it. So I'm going to hold that for about a minute. Right, that's a minute gone in a flash. And we're there. Tiny bit. I find that stops me getting any air bubbles. One drop. Spread it. 45 degrees. Make sure we're straight. Commit. And down. So a bit of cuticle oil. And we're all done. So... I always thank Dorota in the comments, but I really do appreciate all the free help and tuition that she gives us on YouTube. And uh, I'm quite pleased with these, considering I've not done an awful lot of one stroke. I do think they look a bit like enchantment lilies. Um, yeah, loving it. So don't forget, press-ons is a great way for you to move forward if you can't use all the gels and stuff on your nail. So I hope you go and have a look at my Etsy store and I'll see you very soon. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you've enjoyed it, of course, click the down button if you haven't. It's entirely up to you. But I love you for being here. Love your comments and I'll see you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye. Mm -hmm.